Would you believe that oxygen waves can help you to repair your dysfunctional mitochondria simultaneously help you helping you to eradicate Lyme disease pathogen from your body? Hi everyone. I am Dr. Arkady Prokopov. Also, I go for Ark Prokop, and I am biogerontologist and physician for integrative mitochondrial medicine. And today I will present you with a clinical case of one of my patients who suffered chronic Lyme disease for several decades, but was diagnosed only about 10 years ago. And we started treatment according to my protocol in February, 2024. So it's about only five months. The details of my protocol you can find in this book, which is available on Amazon. And now let's analyze this clinical case, which is not ready completely yet. It is still in development, but just to evaluate the efficiency of my protocol, you can do it yourself just watching this video. Step by step, her story when uh, she was uh, looking for treatment, for diagnostic, and is uh, as often happens with light disease, it's a pretty hard journey. Hida was exceptionally healthy till the last 10 years. She successfully competed in female bodybuilding. She won prizes and everything was okay until she was stuck in bed at the point with a ton of new symptoms, developed symptoms she describes as following. This is a long list and many people know that this is pretty typical and uh, it happens in different proportions with many chronic Lyme disease patients. At last, in 2015, the diagnosis was given. It's Lyme borreliosis. Moreover, she had the toxic load of heavy metals, all kind of very bad toxins which accumulate during our life and some people just have difficulties to eliminate them. She also had uh, co-infections like mycoplasma, herpes simplex, human papilloma virus, and small intestine bacterial overgrowth, low thyroid, several compromised immunity tests, iron overload, and high cholesterol. Important, her genetic testing showed that she has two copies of MTHFR gene, which prevents successful detoxification from heavy metals, and also four copies of ultra-rapid metabolizer, and that prevents taking medications and also induces uh, allergic reactions to food and food sensitivities. She explored many treatments which are offered for Lyme disease. It was chelation therapy, B-venom therapy, months of different antibiotics, pain medication, and uh, of course that was caused, it, it caused a lot of functional damage to her liver. Uh, she started exploring different options to improve her liver and it was successful. But nevertheless, Lyme disease symptoms persisted. So, so she started treatment, uh, Dr. Klinghart protocol. It was not successful. She tried different diets. Keto-based diet helped and paleo diet. She felt better. But at this point, she understood that she had mitochondrial problem. Uh, she dialed new diet. She now takes, uh, she eats now just organic paleo diet. And it brought some improvement, but not a radical uh, improvement, which 
to expect it. Uh, so that she described in details the story. Now let's take a look. We started, she, she found out my book in the internet. She read it through, she came to me, she contacted me via email, and we started treatment to, uh, according to my protocol. First, I asked if heavy metals are still present in her system. And to my pleasure, the test, the latest test, was done in February, uh, showed that no, at all, heavy metals are minimal, so there is not a problem. It's no more problem. Everything practically is in the green zone. That's, that means that her years of organic nutrition helped a lot. Nevertheless, symptoms persisted. And now let's hear what she says in, in the latest interview, which we made when I visited uh, Santa Monica in California, and we made a direct interview. It was in beginning of June this year. So I am here in Santa Monica with a team of researchers who are very engaged in helping uh, Lyme disease patients and chronic fatigue syndrome patients and all diseases of the world can be helped and eliminated with our team effort. That's it. Very good. Nice. <laughs> That's great. Caesar, uh, tell us how do how how are you doing currently c compared to the what was three four months ago. Oh my gosh, Ark, like the biggest thing is actual energy. Um, my body is not screaming at me so I can think of other things. Uh, I can't even explain the, the energy that I have. Like we just joined a gym and I'm able to go to the sauna and into a massage chair. Now that doesn't sound like too much, but I didn't, I wouldn't shower most days before. So just that I can get up around six or six thirty, not every single day, because I used to be a morning person before Lyme disease. Um, I'm actually able to do that again. So I mean, you know, that, Art, Art, from from what I, I see, since I've been with her since before she got Lyme, right? We kind of watched mm -hmm. that. Um, our wow. biggest problem at the moment is she's got so much energy suddenly that we kind of have to hold her back before she pushes her body too hard too fast because the pain's not there. Yeah. You know, the pain, the grinding pain she used to have isn't there. She can think. Um, we've seen a complete, even my whole family, the kids, everybody have seen just like an entire change come over yeah. her face. It's just yeah. very different. It's really awesome. We're just crossing our fingers, hoping that it continues. That's the big thing for us. <laughs> Uh, Caesar, I'm noticing you look, each time I see you, you look younger and younger. May, may I mistake mm -hmm. or it really happens? I, I think it is really happening, Ark. I mean, I feel full of life again, to be honest. And it's only been three months, Ark. I, I can't imagine like another year. It's addicting. I, I love my machine, by the way. I absolutely love it. I look forward to it. Every third day, I'm on there. You know, when before Lyme, Heather was a very active, high-level athlete in weightlifting and that type of sports. And just, you know, all the energy in the world. And, you know, went through that stage. She's had it for over a decade. We went to a point where for two and a half years, she was bedridden. We've done a lot of different protocols. They've got her back to at least decent. I mean, she's still got it. It still affects her. But I'll tell you, in the last three months, she's had a complete change. I mean, a complete. it's almost... I'll tell you, it's almost like it's too good to be true. That's, yeah. I mean, we're both kind of like, oh my gosh, we hope this you know, keeps going. And so far, it gets better and better. And so we're really enjoying that. Mm -hmm. We can, yeah, do, things, we can do things together now. Like, we can actually go yeah. out and do something. Yeah, we went and walked yeah. downtown. It was so much fun. That was on Saturday. Mm -hmm. 
and went to the gym to the sauna all in the same day, which before I couldn't, I couldn't do that. I was pretty, ho pretty much housebound before. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a massive shift for me, Ark. It really is. Excellent. And uh, Ronnie, did you start also hypoxic training you wanted to start with? To join, yeah, because the machine can sh shall work for the whole fa uh, whole family. Yeah, I'm, you know, my, so, so Ark, like I told you, I think once before, my education in college was exercise physiology and sports nutrition. I mean, I've got a research background, even though I'm in finance and real estate. And, you know, your mitochondria, your health is, is just paramount. And so I'm looking what it does for her. We read your book, you know, and... Uh, you know, to clean out the broken mitochondria and to rebuild those in the amount of energy I've seen her have. I mean, I just, I'm having a birthday today. Today's my birthday, right? And so, get the mask today, I think. It hasn't come yet, Ark. It's coming today. There you today, go, right? The there you go. And, you know, yeah. as, I, as I get older and older, you know, I want to continue to do. And I've, you know, read your book. I've, I've read a bunch of other research on mitochondria health and change. And what I've seen in her, yeah, I'm starting. We've got the new mask coming for me. It's supposed to show up today. And I'm going to start on this myself because I, I can't, you know, I want to be able to do things as I get older. That's the whole thing. It's just like you, you're looking pretty healthy yourself. I want to be able to continue to do. So. Awesome. Excellent. So, okay. Uh, then uh, please uh, share, share with us what, what still the minor problems remain. Either what, what would you be uh, what you want to correct still what remains and uh, how it can be repaired what do you think so it's probably the food her. allergies yeah food awesome. allergies are still there mm -hmm. um, albeit probably not as bad as before but it is still there food allergies and then to get rid of the completely get rid of the lime cycle like it's down to about a quarter of what it was um symptom wise but I think that's just going to come with time. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, sure. It's only been three months. So three months the energy. For, for me, it's also one of the best tempo I've seen in my practice. Yeah, usually it takes five, six months to stabilize improvement, but you are doing much faster. Oh, you know? really? Oh, that's exciting then. Because the, the herxes have backed off quite a bit too. Like in the very beginning, that was pretty yeah. brutal, that hand and foot pain. Yeah. But that's backed all off. That's what I'm gonna say. You know, I can see where the herxing, the things that happen in response to the healing could be very, very difficult for people to continue. You know, in the um, very beginning, yeah. yeah. Just just stick with it. That's that's the whole thing. You know, and we've we've spent a decade, you know, cleaning the food, cleaning the environment, you know everything we could possibly do and figure out, you know, with the help of everybody we can find that what works and just eliminating the things that don't to where we've got her as far as we could get her. And she's been kind of maintaining for the last couple of three years, a couple of years, pretty steady, no real progress, but you know, she's kind of midway, I would say from where she was before to and where she went, she's probably 65% or was about 65% of her, her ability. She didn't get, really get past that. And since, since we started this, she shot up dramatically. So, you know, for people, stick with this. By all, by all means, just, it, it's tough, though. That first, those first, yeah, that you hurts first month and a half, you know, yeah. you just, you just, it just got to get through it. Thank you very much for this valuable uh, interview, this information. It uh, will motivate other patients. And for me, it's also important that uh, efficiency of my protocol Oh, Our, yeah. thank you and honestly we appreciate yeah. we, we get that this helps you but thank you honestly this yes. is changing her yeah. life and my life and the family's life in such a dramatic way yeah you're um, a genius arc you're a genius we appreciate it too <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm i'm standing on the shoulders of giants that's, that's right sometimes we stumble <laughs> into great things there you go mm -hmm. yeah okay thank you very much all right we can start with it. I'm waiting for from your updates and nice. uh, waiting then when Ronnie yeah. uh, joins the, the movement and then we will continue. Okay. Yes, today or tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, okay. Bye, Art. Hey. Thanks, Art. We'll see you. Bye. Bye.